They say creativity is messy. <laughs> I must be very creative. Hi guys, and welcome to the My Favorite Memories craft table. I am still on the what to do with plastic Easter egg kick. I went to the Dollar Tree about, oh, what, three, maybe four weeks ago, and I bought a package of each size. I have three packages, three dollars, and I tell you what. I am getting my money's worth. I have all kinds of different um, designs and decor and uh, funny little things sitting around my house. All from these little plastic Easter eggs. Now, who knew, right? So, again today, I am using plastic Easter eggs. These are the larger ones. I think uh, four or six came to a package, I'm not sure, but I like the size. But I'm not a fancy person. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of pearlized and it shimmers and it's very pretty. I'm not saying it's not. But I'm more of the burlap button person and I am going to go back to what I like on this tutorial. We are going to turn these plastic eggs into some rustic farmhouse decor that basically can be left out all year. Let me show you what I mean. This is what we're going to need. Of course, our plastic Easter egg. Um, paper plates, palette, whatever you use for your paint. Your paint. I am using chalk paint. Um, I have the Waverly. I, it's easy to find. It's in my price range. I generally use Waverly. I have white, I have some gray, blue, um, a light yellow, and some ivory. So you'll also need <laughs> the pointy side of a wooden skewer. Uh, I've cut these in half, and for these you're going to need also a piece of foam or maybe a cardboard cardboard box that you can poke holes in. Because once you paint these, you need some place to have them dry. And what I'm going to do is be sticking the skewer in the holes that are already there and making lollipops out of them for a minute while they dry. And you'll need some, if you don't want to use the brushes, these are uh, makeup brushes, or I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but the little wedge sponges. I use them all the time. I like the texture that they leave. You can use a brush, some water, and uh, that's about it. So. Let's get started, shall we?
Alright, as you can see, I painted four. They are totally dry. And now comes the fun part. The imagination. We get to decorate. So, what I've got right now is I pulled out some little wooden buttons in different shapes and sizes. I had some of these. They're oh, paper flowers that I made quite a while ago. And I've got, of course, different kinds of ribbon, lace. This is stretchy lace, some burlap with pearls already in it, and just some regular burlap. I have some jute, just plain. I have some strips of burlap that I had left over from other projects. Um, some more this is red and beige jute. Some uh, leftover pieces. It's all scraps. And of course, scissors, glue gun, eggs. Let your imagination go. Use whatever you have and enjoy. So, let's get to work. we go. My little rustic eggs. Little bits of scrap material, paper, buttons, string, burlap, lace, and some plastic eggs from the Dollar Tree. There you go. And like I said, these can sit out all spring, all summer. No problem. No storage. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you like this stuff, you've heard the spiel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. It'll tell you the next time I do it. So... I really hope you had a great time, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I really, really hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now.